With the introduction of the new iPhone 10, it's now more important than ever to properly implement auto layout for your iOS apps. You should now use what Apple is calling a safe area layout guides in iOS 11. These new layout guides help to establish safe margins so that while you're developing your UI, you can make sure visual elements are not hidden underneath the top and bottom notches of the new iPhone 10. Now, if you implement your designs with respect to these safe areas, your UI elements should naturally render correctly for the iPhone 8 Plus, the iPhone 8, and the iPhone SE. The reason for this is because the safe area layout guides represent the entire bounds of the phone, just like how we would expect them to. Remember, the resolutions for all of these devices are quite different, so design your user interface accordingly. Choosing not to use these safe areas can result in some of your controls being positioned outside of the correct bounds. In this example, we can see that the bottom controls containing the previous button, a UI page control, and the next button are placed beneath the bottom guide. To fix this issue, you can access the safe bottom guide anchor in your view controller's view. You do this by typing view.safearealayoutguide.bottomanchor. And for the developers that are more storyboard inclined, all of your view controllers default to using safe area layout guides. Make sure to enable this option in your projects if it is missing. Running your application with a view anchored to the bottom of your view controller will conveniently place it within the safe area like this. Speaking of default behavior, UI tab bar controllers support safe area layouts natively right out of the box. Let's take a look at the app we built out in our Instagram course just to get a feel for what this looks like. As you can see, the tab bar buttons near the bottom are placed above the home indicator. Also, when you scroll up, notice the bottom section is also applying blur to the contents in the background. One thing that you do have to be careful about is hiding the status bar on the iPhone 10. When showing the photo selector inside of our Instagram app, notice how the cancel and next buttons are now positioned in the left and right ears at the top of our app. Apple recommends that developers should almost always show the status bar in their applications, at least in portrait mode. One final thing I want to mention briefly is that you can also run into safe area issues while in landscape orientation. If you're experiencing problems with UI elements hidden underneath these non-safe areas, you should use the safe area layout guide left and right or leading and trailing anchors. I'll go into more detail about this perhaps in a later video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on the new safe area layout guides for iOS 11. I also hope you learn just a little bit more on how to handle the new iPhone 10. If you're interested in learning how to build this walkthrough application on the left, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for this brand new series. Make sure to also check out the Instagram Firebase course on how to build out an entire application programmatically using the link down in the description below. Thank you so much for spending your day with me today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.